The 20th match of the WPL finished last night and it was a similar result. The Delhi Capitals being victorious. It was the Delhi Capitals women who defeated the Gujarat Giants by seven wickets. And as we move along to the games on the weekend, uh, we have the Eliminator Friday night, Mumbai versus the Royal Challengers Bangalore. And then we're into the final on Sunday where Delhi have already qualified. To get more thoughts on uh, the series and who she thinks could go all the way, uh, we are joined uh, once again uh, by the former UAE captain and commentator here at Talk 100.3, Chavi Bart. Chavi, good to have you on the show. Oh, thank you so much, Kitch. It's it, always a pleasure it's been to, a, to be alongside you guys. It's been a sensational tournament. Here we are, second series of the WPL, 20 incredible matches, great cricket. We've had pack stands, high ratings across radio and television. Well, why do you think this tournament has been so good this year? Well, I think there's just, you know, a lot of awareness, firstly, which was built around the tournament, which was really good. So getting into the first game, you know, a few weeks earlier, there was a lot of, uh, you know, noise about it, which was great, um, I think, um, in comparison to the previous season, where there was not a lot of talk about it. A lot of players that have come in this time as well. Most importantly, the uncapped players that haven't gotten an opportunity on the national side. So them coming along also is like a word of mouth. Hey, my, my, my sister is playing or my daughter is playing or my friend is playing. Why don't we watch the game? And hence, the, uh, the awareness or people knowing about what's happening has increased. Who have been some of those uncapped players that have surprised you? Uh, one is definitely uh, Shabnam Shakil. Uh, who has uh, you know who's done exceptionally well for her for her side um there are you know there is Bharti Fulmali who did you know quite well yesterday though she is a capped player but she hasn't played that many games for uh, for India uh then we had um, you know the bowler um, Tita Sadhu from uh, a few nights ago who didn't get an opportunity yesterday she's, she's you know these these players have been instrumental as we look towards uh uh, the finals, uh, it's the eliminated tomorrow night, uh, the Mumbai Indians and RCB. Um, RCB uh, do feature Elise Perry, and, uh, um, and she's been a phenomenal performer. She took uh, a six for the other night. And uh, the question mark has been going around the Australian media. Do you think she's the perhaps the best all-rounder at the moment in world, in, in world cricket? Well, she, she officially did uh, hold that title for a long time, Kitch. And I think she still does hold that okay. title of being the best all-rounder in the game across, you know, in the women's version of the game, at least. Um, you know, with, with the kind of performance she put up, there are so many like that that she has uh, put up, you know, in the past, not only while playing for Australia, but all the other franchises that she's played around with. So Ellie Sperry, again, uh, the kind of form that she's coming in from, she's going to come up with her shoulders up high. And, you know, let's hope that RCB can create some surprises in the game tomorrow. Well, looking at the, the batters to watch, I mean, it's the who's who of uh, world cricket. Uh, for Mumbai, Harman Prekur and Nat Skyver Brunt and Smriti Mandana and also Elise Perry for RCB. It's got to be a, a great clash. Uh, who's your pick to win on Friday? Oh, well, this one's going to be a tough one, to be very honest. It's very difficult to pick either one of these sides, though I would be rooting for RCB for multiple different reasons. I think they deserve to win. They've really performed well, and you know they've lost some games with very, very close margins. Uh, we've called a few of those games where they've lost with just you know, maybe one run or two runs, coming so close and not being able to get to the other side of, uh, you know, of winning. It, it, really, it really hits you mentally. And... In in all honesty, I would be backing the RCB girls for tomorrow's game. So you think RCB will uh, will take it out? And then do you think they can go all the way? Or will be uh, Delhi under Meg Lanning be too strong on Sunday? Ah, uh, that's, that's going to be a story for another day. But uh, that will be a very good match. It's going to be a 50-50 chance. RCB do have the tendency to, um, you know, not hold on to the game. Or they do lose grip on the game you know, over over a span of time. So uh, there will be that possibility where, uh, you know, the Royal Challengers Bangalore um, may maybe just might fall short of the way that Delhi Capitals are coming along. But again, uh, you know, who in whose favour does the day belong to? I think it'll all come down to that on Sunday. Do you think it's beneficial to get the day off? Because... In a lot of sports, sometimes if you if you get it too many days off, you lose the routine and you lose a lot of the momentum. Um, with these players, Kish, you know the 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 amazing part is they've got some schedules which are so well set 
that it's very difficult to uh you know it would be it would be ideally very difficult to say that too many days off is too bad mm. um they've been playing cricket you know they've been playing cricket non-stop they've probably just had a day off in between uh their games and in between that they even traveled so they traveled from bangalore up all the way up to delhi and then you know they had to get to used to the conditions there so yes a few extra days off for the delhi capitals they would definitely like it um in terms of rcb if they do win tomorrow or mumbai indians they would have a momentum that they're already on so again it all depends on what is the team's mindset are they okay with a few days off or do they want to stay in momentum they're okay with the one day off and they want to get you know get on with it so it would all uh, depend depend on depend on that but their training schedules and all of that are so well planned these days in world cricket because there's so much cricket happening around um i just feel that an extra day off doesn't really matter well we'll look forward to it coverage begins 5:30 tomorrow night on talk 100.3 and that charvi will be calling her 502nd game of commentary is that right? Are you still ca- are you yeah it is the way to be the 500 second are you are you going to keep count yeah, for me? I've got my uh, I've got my <laughs> I've got my score you know the umpires that they have although it only goes yeah, to 6 yeah. so I'm just trying to yeah. I'm ticking it over all the time and making notes so well we look forward to it. we're going okay. to have we're going to have some fun tomorrow night thanks again for joining us Thank you. Thank you, Kish. There he is. Uh, She's a legend of uh, the women's game in the UAE, the former captain and the commentator. So she reckons uh, it could be RCB tomorrow night. I tend to agree with it. I think Delhi will probably be too strong on Sunday nights. But to the finals for the WPL, you can hear every ball live and exclusive tomorrow night from 5.30 on Talk 100.3.